Alright guys, welcome back to another Outriders video. Today, we are going to be farming unlimited loot, including epic gear, legendaries, a bunch of materials including titanium, everything. This is all my stuff without endgame. And you can farm this an unlimited amount. This goes for early game players or end game players. You can do this right now. Thank you so much for the support. If you do enjoy this video and it helps you guys out, please consider dropping a like down below and subscribing for more Outriders videos. Okay, so you want to be on this menu and you want to be on the highest world tier possible for obviously the best loot possible. I'm on world tier 9, it's going to be pretty good for me as well. So, you want to select story points. You want to go all the way left until we get to, uh, where is it now? Until we get to the forest enclave, you want to pursue Skurlock and you want to confirm and continue the game. Okay, so now that we are in the spawn area, you're going to spawn right here when you load up the game. And I'm going to be showing you guys where we need to go to farm what we're going to be doing. And I just want to mention quickly, some of you guys asked me, is resetting or going back to a uh, point in the story reset your progress? And no, nothing happens. Absolutely nothing happens. You basically just go back in time uh, and keep all your progress and everything like that. So, go to the flag and hold to travel. We're going to be going right here. Okay, Crystal Camp. Let's travel there and I'll see you guys on the next part. Okay, so once we spawned in, you're going to be right here next to your flag. You want to go this way, all right? You want to follow the exclamation mark in your mini-map and you're going to find this NPC right here. You want to speak to her. We can skip all the dialogue. It doesn't really matter unless you want to watch it. I don't want to watch it, so we're just going to skip it. And then you want to accept. Okay, so once you've accepted and it doesn't pop up for you like it is right now, all you have to do is just go into your menu, go to quest map, and there you go, predator to prey. We're going to track this, all right? And now what we're going to do is just track it and follow exactly where it tells you to go. Okay, so now that we're here, we we'll just have to enter this and here we go. This is where we are going to be farming the hell out of this. You're going to be getting a bunch of uh, materials, gear and everything. So I'm going to be doing this live with you guys to show you exactly what we're going to be doing. So keep in mind, I am on a pretty high world tier, uh, world tier 9. Okay, so uh, it's going to be another cutscene right here, which we're going to obviously skip. Doesn't really matter too much for me. Uh, okay, so we're just going to kill everything. All right. Uh, it's not going to be uh, difficult at all. There's going to be a few bosses and elites we're going to kill here, which is um, what's going to give us the loot. And also, uh, once we turn this quest in, we get even more rewards and then we can pick it back up and do it once again. And uh, you can do this as many times as you like. Okay, there we go. First epic. We're not even 10 seconds into doing this, okay? So we're going to take that. Let's continue on. Okay, uh, I have a sun machine gun, so it's probably best to get kind of close to these guys. Okay, we only have a few more enemies here. Okay, now, did we drop anything? No, okay, let's continue. Okay, here's the next stage. Alright, let's go. Um, again, like I said, make sure you are on the highest tier. If you want to get the best gear you can, it doesn't matter what um, uh, world tier you're on. Just make sure you're on the highest one. Okay, here's this guy. We're just going to focus on the main big guy left because he does take quite some damage. I'm going to switch to this revolver actually because these... I don't know if you guys know, but these things are pretty damn powerful. Okay, he's dead. Okay, now that everything's wiped, here we go. Let's see what we managed to get. A blue, which I don't want, and a bunch more blues here. You guys can dismantle these for materials, leather, uh, everything basically. And uh, we continue. Alright, here we go. Let's go through the next gate. 
Okay, here's the enemies now. Okay, uh, we got a blue from this guy. We don't need that, so I'm going to take this. You can pick these up and sell them for different materials if you wanted to. Uh, but yeah, let's continue on. Here we go. Here's the next boss right here. I really want to focus on uh, the big guys because he does do quite some damage and his abilities keep going on and on and on and he really doesn't stop uh, using it so all right now we're basically over with the hard part okay one more enemy all right so let's have a look at what we got this time uh well, you know what we'll just pick everything up doesn't really matter too much and uh let's go to the next area There is a bunch of uh, materials you can actually harvest in this area too, if you really wanted to, uh, just for those extra materials as well. And here we go, here's going to be the final boss right here, a huge green enemy, which is actually one of my favorite enemies in the, in the game, he looks pretty damn cool. But anyway, let's melt him as quick as we possibly can. Just be careful on this part because he does do quite some damage. Oh, we got an audio bug, guys. Do you hear that? <laughs> okay, anyway, yeah. So, we killed the final boss right there. Which was actually pretty easy, uh, considering I am on tier 9. For you guys, it might be easier or might be harder, depending on how far you are in the game. Okay, we got the final enemy right here. Let's just get rid of him. And he's dead. Okay, so we got two epics and one blue. So, we're going to pick that up, pick this up, and pick that up. And we have a bunch more titanium. A lot of titanium which is honestly amazing and from here what we're gonna do is uh, travel once again back to crystal camp okay all right so now that we're back we're just gonna go up this way once again talk to the NPC and turn it in and hopefully we get a pretty good reward from her and uh, if not we will continue farming this all right We'll just skip everything, doesn't really matter too much. And there we go! We got some more epic gear. For me, it's not going to be high enough because um, my gear is from Expeditions, but for you, it's going to be pretty good. So we're just going to take anything, doesn't really matter too much. And there we go. Once we've done that, we can hold to talk to her once again. We skip the cutscene, and then accept. And there we go. We can once again track it right here predator to prey and we continue farming and there you go if you need some good help at the start of the game if you need some extra gear some extra materials uh there you go they that's how you farm it pretty early in the game uh getting ready for those expeditions and stuff like that but anyway hopefully you guys enjoyed and uh hopefully this does help you out getting ready for end game and i'll see you guys on the next one